how I covered this entire wall, including this ugly AC air return vent. Hey guys, Seed of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be tackling this wall here that has an air return vent that I don't like seeing at all. I'm also going to be changing the color because I want something that's totally different at this area. In order for me to have easy access, I'm going to be making a door using light wood pieces. And these are chalkboards. I use this mostly for some of my projects because they easily fit in my car. I use this piece of wood on this side and I'm going to use a much thicker piece of wood and longer as well on the other side. That is where the hinges are going to be. The thickness of this wood is to compensate for the trim that's around the door for the AC. I mounted the door that I just made and I made sure that it can be open and close and still have access to the AC. I'll take off the handle that's at the door here so that the door that I just made can lay flat on the wall. I got a shade of gray that I will be using for my project. And I use the shade that's right at the bottom. In a home, one of the ways to cover up the ugliness of an air return vent is just to paint it. I use the same color on the door that I just made. Now, if you still want to cover the air return vent, even after painting it, if you don't like it, you can use a screen panel or a decorative doormat. I'm using the screen panel and I got a lot of these when they were on sale about two years ago and I'm still using them. And I did have one of these that I had used, but I don't use anymore, that I spray painted silver, covered it with Mod Podge and filled it up with crushed mirror glass just to decorate it. And I used it in a design in such a way that I had to cut it into two. So instead of just keeping it in the storage room, I'll be using it for this project. Here are some examples online on how others covered their air return vents. I got just two pictures for you guys to see other examples of how others have theirs covered. Now I'm going to use screen panels and attach them using screws. Now I would advise using hinges for easy access. I got these from Hobby Lobby when they were on sale for a dollar.
I'll be making a DIY with these to mount it on the door that I just made. I'll simply just glue the plates together in a pattern, leave it overnight to dry, and then attach lighting at the back and mount it on the door. I used mending plates for mounting this on the wall, but you can also use twine as well. I'll be adding lights behind this to give it a nice glowy effect. This is so pretty, you guys. It's bold, it's a big statement on the wall, and I love the way it shines. I'll be adding little lights by the side, and the full video for that DIY is gonna be down in the description box below. Now, these are the lights, but I added gems to them before mounting them to the door. Now, on the wall, they're looking kind of small, so I had to make borders around this with contact paper and trim to make it look like it's larger. I'm using motion sensor lighting that can be attached on a magnet. And the magnet comes with the motion sensor lighting and the link for this is gonna be down in the description box below. It comes on when it senses the slightest motion around it. Even at a distance. This little area here is small, so I'll be using this shelf that I made a while back. And the link for this is going to be down in the description box below as well. This shelf is perfect for this corner because it's small and it has a curved shape that would give sufficient space for anyone walking through either of the doors. With all that is going on, I want you guys to remember that this is a door on a door. It can easily be opened and closed. And to make sure that the door stays straight, I use items that are light in weight to decorate the door. I have been so in love with this air dye fuser for the longest time and I'll leave a link for it down in the description box below. This is not a sponsored video, I just want you guys to know that this one is one of my favorites. An actual table with legs going right to the floor can also be used and still have access to what's inside. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.